Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here today that I am spending my time here behind me is uh, the Nantahala River um, in Western North Carolina, um, which I'm sure a lot of you are pretty familiar with it. If you know where I'm at, you probably know what to do in this situation. Um, so it's September 15th of 23, 2023. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a late start. Had to do some errands this morning, which pushed my fishing time, fishing time backwards a little bit, uh, which I ain't gonna have much long uh, fishing day today. So I'm gonna try to make the most of it while I'm here. Um, as you can see behind me, um, this first time I've really been in like a late summertime, early fall addition to my fishing time that I have spent here. I've kind of been more in the early spring and the early winter time where there's really nothing like weedy type growing up you know like all the leaves are off the trees I mean it's, it's the first time I've seen it like this so it's a lot different for me to you know figure out where which way I can get down the banks and stuff which I don't think it'd be that hard um, it is I think it'd be very beneficial for most people who have not experienced uh, fishing places they've been to except for like maybe a few times throughout the year if maybe they could experience it like once per season and just see what uh, the best time for you to go fish that area would be uh, that being said I've only fished this place like I said in early fall or I'm, I, I'm sorry excuse me uh, in early spring and early winter which means I've been like it around February to January sometimes in March over the past few years. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the fishing will be like right now, uh, it being in September. So I'm gonna see what, what we got going on today. So uh, just stick with me and let's see if we can go catch some fish. Thank y'all for watching. And might I add, I'm gonna be using my 10 foot four weight uh, Orvis Helios uh, 3F today, along with my Ross reel. I think this is a size five or six. Um, I know it's not really matching the rod, but um, it's all good. It, it's not gonna really hurt anything. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty cool little setup. I got the Ross Animos. This is the limited edition of the Trout Unlimited, if you can see that right here. So I'm I'm looking forward to be catching a lot of this these fish with uh, some of the natural stoneflies and caddis flies patterns I've been tying the past few months. Um, I, I haven't really posted much of this. I'm running a two fly setup on my anchor fly. It's my stonefly pattern tied with some lively leads. I don't know if you can catch a good glimpse of that, but it's a two-tone, so I got brown on the top of the scud back and stuff, and I got like a light golden, kind of like a golden stone in a size 12 with a 4.0 uh, bead, and then I got a size 20, kind of like a small little caddis, uh, I don't know why it's not picking up as good. It's a size 20 uh, green and black dot bead, more like a kiwi bead. Um, it's just a little bit of a black and black sparkle with a little bit of green sparkle dubbing, kind of making it look like a small, uh, uh, small caddis fly of some sort. So let's see if we can go catch some on that.
Welcome back guys. This is going to be my uh, final few minutes here in North Carolina at the Nantahala today. Uh, turned out to be a really nice day today. I was really surprised by it not being the rainy day like it has been the past few days. Uh, got some dark clouds rolling over me right now. Um, got some pretty nice, nice little uh, pullways behind me right here. I want to kind of show you all that beautiful little stretch right here. I missed quite a few biggings right in here before I started wrapping up my trip. Um, but anyway, I did manage to catch three out of six. I did miss three today. Uh, it's not like for me to miss that many, but sometimes it happens. Um, was hitting them on the mop and an egg. I tried some naturals early on that didn't really have much effect, so Hopefully we can do a little bit much better next time. Uh, I appreciate you watching my video today. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video.